What you doing, Aaron? Oh, you know, just taping. Ooh. Taping things. We're going to paint this thing today. So I'm just going to tape off things I don't want paint on and uh, see what happens, you know? Sawyer painted this stupid MCX the other day. Turned out pretty decent, I'd say. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty cool. So, my turn. Alright, so I already painted over the dials uh, for... You mean taped over the dials? Yeah. <laughs> so I already taped over the dials for like windage and elevation and made sure to cover the arrows and all the different numbers and stuff. Now I'm going to tape over the illumination knob. And then obviously tape the glass itself. I haven't exactly decided how I'm going to paint it, but I think I have figured out the colors that I want. I think I'm gonna do mostly this green. It's a deep forest green. And I'll do a little bit, this nutmeg looks good, uh, you know, brown, tannish color, and then a little bit of this dark brown. I think she's ready to be sprayed. Okay. Modify switches. Markings and scope trigger. I'm a big fan of spray paint. Like I had, don't get me wrong, I have my fair share of Cerakoted guns, but if it's a gun you're actually like planning to use hard, you can redo your own spray paint whenever you want. Mm -hmm. Who cares if it gets beat up? So right after this, we're gonna tie it to the back of Aaron's RS and go rally down some gravel <laughs> roads. My game plan with this was just to kind of drape it over once or the whole thing and just kind of do stripes or kind of whitish whitish stripes do you like the squares if it was me i would stretch it where you're planning on spraying so it's like more like snake skinny like yeah. kind of yeah All right, unless so. you like the squares because that there's a whole camo pattern like whatever it's called and not mcu that's marvel comic universe <laughs> Nutmeg, satin nutmeg. So the question now is how many stripes do I do and how wide of stripes? I'd start like wide, do one like every six inches and then see how it looks. Maybe like four total stripes? Yeah, like kind of a little bit thicker stripes. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Very subtle, but that's pretty sick. Making me hungry. Hungry. Earth I'm brown, hungry okay. Too. All right. Let's see. Oh yep. That's cool. It does show it contrasts a little bit harder, but that's really cool. So this was, the base coat was deep forest green, the Rust-Oleum camouflage. Then we hit it with the nutmeg, the satin nutmeg, uh, kind of all over through the mesh. And then finally with the um, deep brown, deep, no, earth, earth brown. brown. Earth yeah, brown. hit it with the earth brown last, kind of did uh, about three segments on each side, so. Okay, scumbag Mark into <laughs> painting his rifle. I might have to blur this out. <laughs> oh yeah, you're doing the can too. Who says you can't spray paint suppressors? <laughs> a one? Oh. Do you want a lighter one? I'm gonna go with a white brown. <laughs> that brown. This is actually nutmeg. Okay, don't you forget it. <laughs> it's pretty close, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> 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 
Uh, going for some touch-ups, some more, this one's earth brown and satin nutmeg, the same colors I used over top of the deep forest green originally. I taped off a little bit less. I kind of just want some more of these accent colors to come out. Um, so we're gonna go back to the netting. Let's see how she turned out. It's crazy, it looks like an AR-15. Oh my gosh, how did we do that? Yeah, I'd say that's decent. Hey, comment below if you think this guy should get a bolt gun. We all think that, okay? It's just... He needs to sell... Maybe. He's got... He has three other rifles. This is really the only one that he shoots. He just needs to sell one of them and get a decent rifle. I don't know, bro. Mark's got a bolt gun. Yep. Mark's got a pretty cool bolt gun. I do have multiple you bolt guns. <laughs> you I have do. A Technically, I do. <laughs> Yeah, they might be okay so two, he's but. got a savage 270 and then what's the other one you got old mosin a mosin keep yeah. the mosin keep the mosin yeah those with are the cool. bayonet those are i also cool. have a eight millimeter mauser it Sell has them. nazi insi nazi insignias like stamped into it well yeah i don't think we can say that i also have a i think it's a seven something millimeter jap Come on, man. Bet you don't know what that is. This is just, I do. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry right now. <laughs> Nazi jab, Jesus. Yeah, that's like four bolt guns. What do you want from me? Okay, nice, nice, nice. Oh, wait. Let's see how that turned out. Ooh, yeah, I like that. See, that was pretty good. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Mark. Thank you, thank you. Let's uh, do this. Yeah, let's let's let them dry for a second and get all your furniture back on. Yeah, well, this is all my furniture. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the only furniture I didn't put on was my. Let's we'll start a GoFundMe for Mark. <laughs> I am once again asking for your financial support. Wow. All right, so you're first, even though we didn't see you paint anything because you're got, too impatient. I got too excited. The suspense is terrible. He, he's gonna go this time. I hope it'll last. <laughs> and just went home and painted mine when we before we had this. Well, we had the video idea, and I was like, I'm gonna go do it now. <laughs> it turned out pretty good. Go ahead, pick it up. I went and tested it out. You know, just like right in the bushes, I couldn't find it, but then I found it. Yeah, it was kind of a work in progress. Like I added like these more brown accents when I got that other that netting, the sniper veil from Smith and Edwards, but it turned out really good. I don't regret it. All right. <laughs> yep. Ten out of ten would paint again, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And it just looks cool getting all scratched up. All right, Mark. What do you think about yours? How did it turn out? I like it. It came out pretty good. I wish I would have used more of that. Um, I don't know what color it was like a light green color. I wish I would have used a little more of that pistachio <laughs> because I like it. It's actually army green. But yeah, I liked it. It came out good. I was originally just going to do a few stripes down it and that was it. But uh, yeah, spray paint is um, addictive. Uh, not huffing, just working with spray paint. <laughs> Huffing paint is no laughing matter. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I had a good time. So it was fun to just, you know, everyone paint their rifles and make them look cool and see who's as coolest. And obviously mine came out cool. Yes, so tell yes. us a little bit about this rifle. What do you got going on there? Okay, what uh, what can you got up there? It's uh, the Gemtech Trek 2. That's cool. Yeah, Green Mountain Barrels. And this uh, is an 11.5? Yep. Right? Some rail scales on it. I just painted the rail scales because, you know. Blasphemy. Rattle, rattle can life, right? <laughs> um, and then I've just got a Vortex Spark on here. 
um, CMC trigger, CMC trigger, uh, Odin works, uh, mag release, and then a phase five, uh, bad lever, got some battle some arms, radian. Yeah, I got some radian, radian raptor. raptor. Mm. Oh, so I went with a kind of green darker green and brown mostly on my 13.7. I think it turned out pretty decent. Yeah. This is a upper and lower and barrel from Ballistic Advantage. LPVO offset dot Holosun 509T. The Emissary Development uh, handbrake, their micro cable clips and their little uh, multitasker nano tool um, holder there. Um, if you drop that, that you're never finding that. Yeah, you actually gave it some texture. I know. <laughs> Oops, it's so small. Bye bye. So she said, "That's my joke." Uh, dead air, Sandman S. This is the Geisley Super Dynamic Three Gun. Pronounced Giuseppe. The Giuseppe SD Three G. Yeah, with the Radian Talon. Oh. Ambi. Let us know in the comment section who painted theirs the best, which is the best rifle. MCX, 13.7. You know what to do. Or about 11.5. Now they all look pretty good. Yeah. This is this is definitely the heaviest, <laughs> for sure. Can't argue with that. All right, well, comment below if you think we should paint more rifles or if you should take all the paint away from us. Probably. Probably best. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like and subscribe and tell your friends about the channel and give us comments for the old algorithm and stuff. Follow us on Instagram and we'll catch you next time.